This video is sponsored by Alcet E Homes, whose mission it is to accelerate the advent of sustainable healthy living systems around the world. Hi, and welcome to Best in Tesla. So Tesla just held their AI day to show that Tesla is more than just a car company. And the event was for everyone who was interested in solving real-world AI, both in hardware and software, to show they should come and work for Tesla. And I think everyone who really knows about this stuff really wants to go to work for Tesla now. Because man, did they just slap the whole industry. So, let's check it out and let's dive right in. So this event was up and beyond what I thought it would be, and up and beyond what I'm capable of understanding. <laughs> but I will try just to give you a quick overview of what they talked about at the event, because man, did Tesla just flex their huge brain power at Tesla. So they started with showing off how far they are with their AI vision for their full self-driving cars and how they have gone from using cameras individually with single frame pictures to making all eight cameras work as one view being sent directly into this vector space, a virtual mapping of the world around it and showed off how far they have come in predicting and planning and of course data labeling because Tesla also took that in-house because there was a lot of delays from third parties and the quality was not so good. So Tesla now has a 1000 person in-house data labeling team. But they also showed how they are using their simulations to help when data is difficult to source like extreme edge cases of a family with a dog running on the highway. <laughs> and they have some cool looking simulations, looks very real. And Tesla also takes videos from Tesla's autopilot fails and shadow modes when it doesn't agree with the human driving and then they make a simulation from that video and train the AI in the simulation to make sure it will be able to do that task it failed at. So most of Tesla's simulations are created on real world data videos, but they will only validate data on real world data. All very, very cool to see, but I will highly recommend you to see the whole presentation if you haven't already, because they take a deep dive into how they are solving this and their approach. All very, very interesting. But then they started to get to some of the new really cool stuff we were all waiting for. Tesla showed off their new Dojo computer and its chips. And Dojo will be operational next year. So unfortunately not at the end of this year as I expected and as Tesla has said before. But they showed how they made their new crazy chip from the bottom up. They started with these small training nuts that will be able to do a little over a teraflop of operations. And they are putting 354 nodes in a chip making that chip capable of 362 teraflops, two times faster than the fastest chips out there. This is more than two times the bandwidth coming out of the state-of-the-art networking switch chips which are out there today. And network switch chips are supposed to be the gold standards for IO bandwidth. And this chip is of course purposely made for pure machine learning machines, no silicon and so on, purposely built for this task. And this D1 chip, as it's called, is entirely designed by Tesla's AI team. Yes, Tesla has an AI software and hardware team like no other on the planet. And they put together 500 
100,000 of these D1 chips to make the Dojo computers training tiles. Yes, it's all about scale. They made a system that can easily be scaled up in the future, but one training tile will be capable of nine petaflops of operations per second, and they put together 120 training tiles, giving Dojo computer a one exapod of operations. Don't worry if you have no idea how fast that is, because because I am right there with you. <laughs> but Tesla did give us a little comparison to what else is out there. That Dojo computer will have four times the performance at the same cost, but in a five times smaller footprint. This is quite amazing. All as Elon tweeted, it's a quadrillion floating point operations per second, enough to simulate a human brain. Hmm. Said in another way, Tesla is head and shoulders above everyone else in AI software and hardware. But they're just a car company. Especially compared to any other car company. Then there is Tesla and, and not everyone else. There's just Tesla and no one else. No other car company can do this kind of stuff. Volkswagen can't even get their car's software to work properly or do a real over-the-air update. <laughs> And it is not even themselves that is writing that software. And Tesla think they can even improve the Dojo computer to be 10 times faster in the future. This is just mind boggling. But then Tesla turned it up a notch. <laughs> there had been a lot of speculations about what kind of robot Tesla would reveal, but most didn't even dare to dream about a humanoid robot because it just seemed so far-fetched. But that was exactly what Tesla revealed. That has to be up there with some of the best one more thing I have ever seen. But we do have one more thing. <laughs> so yeah, Tesla will build a humanoid robot. Yes, a humanoid robot. And his name is Optimus. <laughs> they are pretty much building a full self-driving car with AI vision into a robot. As I talked about in my Tesla AI video, when Tesla saw real-world AI vision, they could merge this with robots like with Boston Dynamics robots. But Tesla will build its own robots. So yeah, Tesla will build humanoid robots. Just let that sink in for a second. <laughs> so that would be able to do almost whatever we humans can. Just a bit slower, it would not be able to run faster than five miles per hour or be superhuman strong. At a mechanical level, at a physical level, uh, you can run away from it. Um. <laughs> And, and most likely overpower it. But it will be able to do all the difficult tasks that we need humans for. So it could be pretty much everything that was speculated about. It could be working at Tesla's factory, helping build cars, taking over some of the manual work. It can sit in a robot taxi and make the last meter deliveries. It could really become the human robot helper we have seen in so many movies. SpaceX will probably send a little group of these robots to Mars and start building the colony. I mean, anything is suddenly possible. But don't worry, they will make them friendly. I have heard they will end every conversation with Be nice. But this is really exciting and that Tesla will have a prototype of this robot ready already next year is just mind-boggling. And 2022 is really starting to shape up to be a crazy, crazy year that will probably be remembered as a very historical year in Tesla's history and probably in the human history. With Tesla's two new factories coming online, with the new battery cells, with the car production being taken to new levels with the Model Y coming out of Berlin and Texas. Tesla will have access to twice as many batteries. The Cybertruck and Semi-Truck will start hitting the road. And now also Dojo Computer and the Tesla Robot. What a year we have to look forward to. Well, Volkswagen did copy Tesla's battery day and called it Power Day. I don't think they will be copying Tesla's AI day. Well, they could make a software debug day. Yeah, Tesla just 
Tesla the whole industry. If they thought they knew a thing or two about software and hardware, they probably just realized just how impossible far behind they are compared to Tesla. And they don't even really make their own software. And Tesla is making all this in-house at Tesla. Just amazing. But you can bet that Wall Street will not get this. And no one will believe Tesla can build this robot. But it doesn't matter. As a long-term investor, this should just put a big smile on your face. Because Wall Street will get it eventually. And Tesla just showed that they will become one of the biggest players in AI and robotics. Yeah, that is another nice big market. So what an amazing AI day. And just as I believe the battery day will go down in history, I think AI will also go down in history as the day we saw Tesla become an AI and robotics company that was going to change the world in more ways than just accelerating our transition to sustainable energy. In more ways that I think we can even imagine. And thank you for watching. And until next time, take care out there and be nice.